have your way and take over even through the minister of the word may we hear you lord may we understand you may we be able to comprehend the truth let that which has never been reviewed again lord be revealed to us and help us to embrace the truth to be men and women who walk in light for you god you are light and in you there's no darkness at all bless your servant bless each one of us those that are here those that are watching online lord and i pray that lives will be changed for your glory in jesus name we pray and god's people say amen uh technician kindly deal with that sound before we receive the man of god it is very distorted uh, and god will bless you the rest of us uh you are most welcome to this service it is my prayer that uh the Lord will take us to another level of understanding, another level of knowledge, another level of intimacy, another level of passion for him in Jesus' mighty name. So you're most welcome. Let us position ourselves quickly and even our online church. God bless you mightily from wherever you are watching from. Let us put our hands together now for Jesus as we receive the word of God in the altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, I send for Jesus. I send for Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, every one of us. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this uh, beautiful and great day that you have given unto us. We pray that you speak to us at uh, this great afternoon, turn our lives around, uh, glorify your beautiful name. Let our hearts be able to receive you and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe and everyone said, Amen. Can you put your hands together for Jesus and appreciate Jesus? Amen and amen, amen. You may have your seats. Uh, thank you so very much. You may have your seats. I want to continue on empowering our ones or, or how to give uh, power to our ones. When we speak, uh, how do we make our ones powerful? How do we make our ones come to pass? How do we give? Our ones, a cutting edge that the ones that we speak becomes strong, becomes powerful, so that they are able to create and do what the ones are supposed to do in the realm of the spirit. So I know everyone wants to speak something and want to see what they say come to pass. Nobody wants just to uh, speak and the, for the sake of speaking. Everybody wants your wants uh, to be honored. You want your wants to carry honor. You want your wants uh, uh, to be ones that uh, carry power. And uh, you don't want just ones that are just ones. Hallelujah. Because we understood that the ones are very powerful in the realm of the spirit. So we need to know how we should apply them or what we should do with the ones. And um, uh, give them the right power. The right power that the ones deserve in the realm of the spirit. And they will give us the results that you want to we want to have in the name of Jesus Christ. Say amen. My, sh my machine is giving me headaches. That's why you see I'm uh, slow in starting. But I hope it obeys.
right there, see? Uh, so, uh, I was saying, we, we, we are supposed to speak uh, our ones, and uh, our ones are supposed to carry power. And we understood uh, that uh, for us to have the ones that carry power, the ones that us the power, we are supposed to uh, mix our ones with prayers. Amen. So, prayer gives power to our ones, and we understood that uh, much about prayer. And, uh, and, and I believe uh, we, 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 we understood that every word that we speak, if it is going to carry power in the realm of the spirit, uh, it must be accompanied by prayer. You must mix your ones. You must mix your ones with prayer. Number two, we say that you mix your ones uh, with grace. The ones are supposed to be fused or mixed with grace. And we understood that uh, uh, when the words are mixed with grace, uh, they also carry power. And grace gives power uh, to the ones that uh, you speak. And those ones are able to uh, 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 be gracious. The ones are supposed to be uh, gracious. Uh, we say, if you just speak on us without grace, uh, they are not going to bring life. Life comes through grace. It is the grace that gives life. It is grace that gives life. So once you speak once minus grace, uh, they are not going to help. And we understood the key reason why our ones are supposed to be mixed with uh, grace is that grace will help us to speak words in truth and also uh, uh, in uh, uh, wisdom. In truth and also in wisdom. And we say wisdom is how, how you are are supposed to speak it. How are you supposed to deliver that truth? How are you supposed to release that truth? That is, that is, that is wisdom. The how is the wisdom. And then what? What to release? The what is what we call wisdom. And the ones are supposed to be released in wisdom, and the ones are supposed to be released in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in, 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 in truth. And we say it again, even the truth itself, the truth itself, if it is not delivered, properly executed, it can kill. It can destroy. The truth itself can destroy without, without uh, a, a proper execution. So it must be done in the right way. The truth must be communicated in the right manner. And we give an we give example uh, with uh, the story of Nathan and David. Nathan was sent to David. And David was going to, uh, to, uh, to, to uh, Nathan went to David to speak of what, what God had already uh, given unto him. And that was the truth. He went to deliver the truth to David. But he had to use wisdom in delivering that truth uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to David. So if he went with that force, as it is the truth, and he went with that force to Nathan, Neither, uh, uh, to David. Nathan would be uh, being killed. David is king. He has the power. He has the resources. He has, he has the authority. He would have killed Nathan. Nathan is speaking the truth that David has slept with uh, Uriah's wife and he has killed Uriah's wife. And that was the truth. But he had to use wisdom. This we got in 2 Samuel uh, chapter 12 of, uh, from verse number 1. You understand what he did and it helped. So you can have the truth and the truth may not be able to help the people if you don't execute it with wisdom. And therefore, uh, sometimes we speak the truth, but the truth does not deliver or does not bring what is supposed to be done if it is not executed uh, by uh, wisdom. So we understood that. The law or the word without grace is law. The word without grace is law. And that is what we said lastly. The word without grace is law, and the law kills. Can you look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3? From verse 4 to 6, and quickly, uh, together, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, from verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 4. Someone on screen help us. And we uh, have such trust through Christ uh, uh, to one's uh, uh, God. Continue, verse 5. 
Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being uh, from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Our sufficiency is from God. So we depend on the grace. We depend on him to help us be complete and to help us to do everything that we ought to do. Now it says, uh, who also make us sufficient as ministers of new covenant and not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives what? Life. So the letter kills, that law kills, but the spirit gives life. The letter kills, but the spirit gives life. So we are of the spirit. We are ministers of the spirit, not uh, of the grace, not of the, of, 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 of the law. So the law will kill. And that doesn't matter how powerful the law is, it will uh, end up uh, killing. Uh, number three now for today, uh, I want us to understand also for our ones to carry power, we must mix them with love. We must mix the words with love. We must mix the words with love. We speak in love. We speak in love. We speak in love. Uh, in Ephesians chapter 4, 15, put me on the screen. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. But speaking the truth in love. So, so the truth is supposed to be spoken in what? In love. That what happens when you do that? You may grow up in all things into him who is the end, Christ. So that growth. We speak everything in love. We speak everything in love. When you are speaking everything in love. Love puts you into the position of the person that you want to address or the person you are dealing with and makes you have compassion on the person. Love puts you into that position of the person. If you are addressing the person who is needy, it puts you in that position of being in need, a position of being needy, position of being needy. And when you are in that position, you can execute uh, that mandate in that, in that, in that compassion. You cannot be compassionate to people if you cannot feel what they are feeling. So love makes you feel what they are feeling. Love makes you experience what they are experiencing. That is why you can show compassion to them. When a person is in need, love makes you feel that what this person is feeling. When a person is tired, when the person is lost, is thirsty, when someone is hungry, love makes you feel what that person is feeling and makes you have compassion. So when, when you speak once without compassion, they irritate. The ones without compassion, they irritate. And people tend to rebel. People tend to rebel uh, the ones that lack love. No matter how powerful they are, if they lack love, they face opposition. They face opposition to the person who is receiving, to whatever is receiving. So what, if you want your ones uh, to be uh, 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 powerful, you must also, apart from praying for your ones, apart from mixing your ones with grace, uh, you are also supposed to mix your ones with love. And when you mix with love, love, uh, God is love, God is love, God is love. That's what the Bible says, God is love, God is love. God is love. Therefore, once you speak the words in love, you speak the nature of God. I say once you speak the words in love, you speak the nature of God. You speak the nature of God. So people are able to hear every authority is able to submit to that authority because it's, it carries the nature of God. The ones of love carries the nature of of God. La ones of love carries the nature of God. Now, men open their hearts to the ones of love. Men will always open their hearts to the ones of love and rebel the ones that, that carries no love. So it doesn't matter how powerful you speak. If, if you don't speak in love, the love, the love 
is uh, uh, that, that, that ones are, are, are removed or people don't accept those ones. They rebel against those ones. Love stars peace. Love stars peace. So the ones of love stars peace. The ones of love stars peace. And peace is necessary. Necessary for any, any, any effective thing to take place. There must be peace. Peace is needed. Peace is needed uh, for anything to be clear. When there is no peace, nothing is clear. When there is no peace, nothing is received. So love is very important. The ones of love, uh, they are able to break opposition. The ones of love are able to break opposition. Nothing is so powerful than love. Love is able to break barriers. So the ones of love are able to uh, break opposition. And then uh, the ones of love also drives away fear. The ones of love drives away fear. Where there is love, the Bible tells us uh, 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 perfect love. Perfect love. Perfect love uh, 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 drives away fear. Perfect love drives away fear. Now we say, when you have love, you speak with the boldness. We speak with boldness. So you drive away fear, and that gives you room to speak with boldness. Look at uh, the Bible in the book of uh, John chapter 4, fa first letter of John chapter 4, verse 18. First letter of John chapter 4, verse 18. Give it on the screen. Give it on the screen. It says, therefore, uh, uh, there is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. Hallelujah. There is no what? Fear in love. So when we are speaking love, you speak fearless. You are fearless. And once you are once lacks fear, you once become powerful. They become powerful because you are speaking from a tone of courage, the tone of boldness. There is nothing you are fearing. That boldness is key to make that word come to pass. And this uh, fear, when you don't have fear, you don't make mistakes. So your ones are clear. Your ones are clear. Some people, you are not heeded because you make mistakes in your utterances because you lack that kind of composure because you, you did not have uh, other bonus. Now, look at this. Is it because fear, uh, uh, because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So perfect love drives well, what? Fear. So we cannot fear because that love is perfected in us. So we speak with boldness. We speak out of love. And therefore, our ones carry strength. Our ones carry power because we speak it in, 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 in love. So the love will make your ones clear. Your ones will be received. And this is something that uh, makes the communication effective. Love is there. It is, makes uh, communication sweet. It makes communication good. So once your ones carry love, they are uh, acceptable. They cannot be uh, rejected. Number four, for your ones to carry power, you must mix them with faith. You must mix them with faith. Hebrews uh, 4, verse 1 and 2, put me on the screen kindly. Hebrews uh, chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, since uh, a promise in main of entering his rest, uh, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. Now, look at verse 2 and underline it. Verse 2 says, For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the ones which they had did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who hand it. So word not mixed with faith cannot profit anyone, either the speaker or the listener. So once you mix the ones, you speak the ones in faith, and somebody receives the same ones in faith, they profit the listener. So faith makes words profitable. Faith, when you mix the ones with faith, faith will make the words that you speak profitable. The word becomes beneficial. They benefit you. So anyone in the realm of the spirit that are not received a mix in faith cannot be profitable. 
so it cannot uh, be a blessing uh, to you. Now, faith, uh, once you mix the ones in faith, the ones becomes profitable. Even what I'm speaking now, not unless you mix it with faith, it can never be profitable to you. So it will only help you if you can mix it in faith. That is why after this prayer, after hearing the word, you must go and meditate these words and pray over them again. And that is how you release faith over those ones that they come to pass. Most of the people come to the sermons, they hear the sermons and nothing happens after that because they don't listen to the sermon the second time. They don't pray over it. They don't remember anything over it again. Therefore, they hear uh, sermons after sermons, services after service, but their lives are not changing. Or if they are changing, it's very little because they never mixed the ones with faith. Remember what God told Joshua? You shall meditate this word day and night, and you make your ways prosperous. So it is through meditation and through prayer that we are able to mix the ones with faith. And this is how it's able to give us, and now the ones are able to give us success. So you must come. You go to the words again. Listen to the ones again. Go to your notes again. Meditate. Try to hear another voice of God. Speaking through the sermons again, mix it with faith, and then you see the profits. You will see benefit. But most of us don't do that. I think, uh, faith gives one's power to create. Faith gives one's power to create. So create a power by, of the word. comes either from the spirit and from the faith. So there are two things we will be come to, uh, to talk about speaking the ones in spirit. So it's creative power comes through faith and comes through the spirit of God. Look at Hebrews, Hebrews uh, 11 verse 3. So if we want to be creative in our ones, we want to be creative. You speak and the ones create what was not there. You said, let there be light and there is light. Let there be rain and there is rain. Let there be healing and there is healing. That one you are speaking must carry faith. It must be anointed by the spirit and must carry what? Faith. Those are two responsible for miracle. The Holy Spirit and faith are responsible for miracles. The Holy Spirit and faith. When the word is spoken in the Holy Spirit and when the word is spoken in faith, creates miracles. So you must have the two of them. You can have faith, uh, uh, faith, 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 faith that things are happening. But that faith which does not work by love, faith must work by what? By love. That faith that works by love is what saves. That faith that works by love is what works miracles. Faith that works by love is faith that comes from God. Now look at this. It says, by faith we understand. We understand by faith. By faith we understand that the ones, the ones were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So the things we see are created by ones. And how do we know it? By faith. It is faith that gives ones creative power. So it requires the mixture of the spirit and faith and word to create miracle. Mixture of spirit, faith, and word to create miracle. If you want these miracles to happen, these are those three things must be present. The Holy Spirit, the word, and faith. When this comes and uh, the Holy Spirit and all those things, three of them are given power, motivated together, catalyzed together by prayer. Hallelujah. By prayer. So sometimes we see a person say something without praying and it happened. It is because he prayed before. He got the power before. He carried the word before. And that is what gives the power. Now faith makes your ones fruitful. Faith makes your ones fruitful. There are so many people who speak once and they are not fruitful. They are not bearing fruit because they lack faith. So faith makes your ones fruitful. So you can be able uh, to, uh, to have the fruit. So faith causes your ones to be rewarded. Faith causes your ones now to be rewarded. There are some people who say when they speak, nothing they speak fails to come to pass. Their ones are rewarded. Their ones are rewarded. They carry good reward. It's the report of faith. It means faith uh, loans your ones. Uh, that means your ones are not empty. Your ones are not empty. A person who speaks in faith, their ones are loaded. 
they are loaded. They carry substance. When you, you speak in faith, faith is substance. So your words carry what? Substance and carry surety. These ones are true. Now, one spoken in faith causes prosperity and cannot fail. One spoken by faith causes prosperity. And therefore, they can never fail. So if you become a speaker who speaks by faith, I want to tell you things that you say cannot fail, cannot fail. That's why God says, I will honor the ones from the mouth of my servant. Now, faith causes uh, the, what is, uh, uh, faith makes your, uh, your, your ones real in the physical world. Faith makes your ones real in the physical world. God causes things which are not there as though they are, and he gives life to the dead. So once you speak to the faith, it's the speaking spirit. You start now speaking by that spirit, and those things begin to become a reality. You, they begin to become a reality. So when you pray by faith, you speak by faith, or we utter everything by faith, this one becomes a reality. So faith makes your wants to create possibilities. Faith makes your wants to create for possibilities. Faith makes your wants to create possibilities. Even where things were not possible, faith makes it what? Possible. Now, faith makes your words equal to God's words. Faith makes your word equal to God's word. That means your words are God, the way the word of God cannot fail, also your word cannot fail. Can you look at Mark 9, 23? What does it say? Mark 9, uh, 23. Mark 9, 23. Jesus says this, if you can believe, all things are what? Possible to who? To him who believes. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. All things are possible to him who believes. So if you believe, all things become what? Possible. All things become possible. Oh, so your ones and the ones of God becomes what? Equal. Because when you believe, all things become possible. Look at Matthew uh, 19, 23. Matthew 19, 23. Are you there? Oh, this is very powerful. Jesus said to, to his disciples, Ashwadila, I said to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Continue. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Now, continue the next line. Then his disciples heard it. They were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? And look at the next thing. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Now, when things are possible, that means they can happen. They can happen to God. All things are possible. And say, all things are possible to him when believe. Now, look at this now. This is a very important for you uh, to understand it. Faith gives power and authority to your wants. Faith gives power and authority to your wants. So your wants carry power. Your wants carry authority according to the measure of faith that you release it to. Yeah, go to Mark, Mark eleven twenty three. Faith gives authority and power to your word. Faith gives authority and power to your word. Faith that gives authority and power to your word. It says, for uh, assuredly, I said to you, whoever says to this mountain, that's the word, speaking, whoever says to this mountain, 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 be removed and be casted into the sea and does not 
doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Are you listening to me? So you can say anything in faith and it can happen. You can say mountain move and you don't doubt. If you don't doubt your ones in your heart, that means your ones carry power and they carry authority. If you don't doubt in your heart what you say, if you don't doubt what you say, you shall have what you say. You shall have what you say. So faith gives you power and authority in your ones. That your ones cannot fail. That your ones are executed. They are executed because they carry power. They carry mandate in them. Faith gives your ones a compelling power that compels things to happen. You can tell mountain, move. And if you don't doubt those ones in your heart, they happen because faith gives power and authority to your ones. So faith itself is the mother of authority. Hallelujah. So when it combines with your word, releases what? Authority into your ones, and your ones will cut up power. If you don't doubt what you say, the problem is that if you say, I am rich, when well, you are doubting it in your heart, you are, you, something else is telling you you are poor. You, you say, I can do all things, and something remind, reminds you, you, you can do all things. And then you doubt those ones. And when you doubt, they don't come to pass, because faith is not there. So if you say anything and you don't doubt it, it will come to pass. So faith is, is very powerful when it comes uh, uh, to your ones. Faith also um, uh, makes you speak the truth in boldness and confidence. Faith makes you speak the truth in boldness and confidence. In boldness and confidence. And these are very key. When, when, when you are you are, you, you, are, you are speaking boldness and confidence. People know that you are sure. Boldness comes from knowledge. And faith is, is, is what brings that knowledge, being sure. So confidence comes that you are sure of what you are telling people. If you are not sure of what you are speaking, you, you, you begin to stammer. But when you are sure of what you are saying, then you have that boldness. And look at uh, what happened in the Bible, in the book of Acts. Uh, the apostles, they were not very educated, and uh, they were illiterate people. But when they, they were praying, look at, at verse four, four, 13 of Acts chapter 4. Verse 13 of Acts chapter 4. And then we shall jump to 29 up to 30. Look at this. It's now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled, and they realized that they had been with who? Jesus. So they saw the boldness. They saw the boldness. They said, these men are not schooled. There is, a, there is, a, there is boldness. Like education gives you knowledge, gives you a certain level of boldness. People who are educated, who have gone through training, who have been trained, that they are more bold than people who have never been trained. Say amen. Are you, are, are you aware of that? Yeah, it's like that. So when you are trained, when you are going through system of education and you are trained, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and a person who has not been trained, we, you, you don't operate in the same level of confidence. The confidence level are very different. They are very different. Confidence level are very different. So you operate in that. That's why uh, we, 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 we don't go against education system. They help you. They help you. They, the more you get the knowledge, uh, it is easy even for God to use you when you have knowledge, when you have the understanding. Even to change that knowledge and give you light, it is very easy. That's why Paul became very useful than other, other apostles, because he was educated. He was a professor in the law. He knew a lot of things. That is why he was very useful to the, house of, to, 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 to the kingdom of God. He was very useful because he knew, and he knew things. When they come, they reason to him in the earthly manner, he would, knew, he would know how to answer them because he knows the education. He understands. So that is that boldness. So these people realized Peter and John and others, they were not schooled. These people were not trained. And they, they realized, hey, they have a lot of boldness. How do they get these things from? How are you getting all this? And then they realized these men were with Jesus. They say, this is the impact of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the impact of Jesus. And look at now what happened to them. As bold as they were, they never are uh, uh, dependent on that level of boldness. They are to make another prayer. Say amen. Look at verse 29. 
So now when they saw uh -huh, 29 Kaidila, I said, after 13, you take me to 29. And to our way to 29, 30, and that one. It says, now the Lord, uh, now the Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servant that with all boldness they speak, they may speak your word. So they wanted to preach with what? Boldness. When you speak with boldness, things happen. They come there it's as a result of faith. Things happen. They begin to work. Now look at the next thing. They speak, we may speak in boldness. Um, by stretching out your heart uh, to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your only servant, Jesus. This is a request they made. Look at us, that one now. It says, and when they and prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with what? Boldness. What they were asking, they were given. They were filled. All the places they were shook, and they were filled, that they were able to speak oh, the word with boldness. You can imagine now, earlier, people are still seeing boldness. Well, they are not content with that level of boldness. They want another higher level of boldness. And they were given that level of boldness, that they were able to speak the word with boldness. And then finally for today, ones of faith excites and glorifies God. The ones of faith excites and glorifies God. So when you speak in faith, you are speaking in the language of God. And God is happy. There are two languages that God understands. The language of the spirit and the language of faith. Am I communicating here? The language of spirit, the language of faith is what God understands. Now, when you speak in faith, you are inviting him. Uh, Hebrews eleven six. 6, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So, if you speak the words of doubt, they will never please God. So, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Say amen if you are hearing me. And now, uh, when you, you look at uh, uh, Matthew, Matthew 15, 15 from 26 to 28. Matthew 15, 26 to 28. Put it on the screen. And by the answer to this, it is good to take, it is, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And look at the next thing. Uh, and she said, yes, Lord. Yet even little dogs eat the crumbs which falls from their master's table. This is the woman speaking. And those ones of faith touch Jesus. And then Jesus answered and said to, to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. Look at that. Great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Great is your faith. And Jesus says, I have not seen this faith even in what? In Israel. Great is your faith, woman. So, spoke words of faith. Touch Jesus. Whatever she wanted is granted because of what? So, when you speak words of faith, they touch God. Whatever you desire, it is done. Words of faith. Words of faith. They excite and glorifies God. Look at the centurion also. You can read at your own time in the book of Luke chapter 4. I, I mean Luke chapter 7. And you, 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 you see the story of the centurion. Hallelujah. And, uh, and when uh, Jesus was about to come to his house, uh, he sent another messengers and he told them, tell the master, I not deserve him to come under my roof. That is why I never even bothered to come myself. Tell him, I want to just him to speak a word and my servant will recover. And then he says, I am also a man of authority, of soldiers who are under me. I tell one move, he moves, and the other one comes, he comes. And all these things happen. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the, the, whatever I tell my servant to do, he does it. And then Jesus turned to the crowd and told the crowd, I have not answered this kind of faith where, even in Israel. And immediately, the servant was healed. Immediately, the servant was healed. So when you speak the words of faith, they glorify God, and they excite him, and they move him to action. Hallelujah. They move him to action. So the ones of faith compel supernatural help. The ones of faith compels supernatural help. So if you want to have supernatural help, you have 
you have, you have, you have to speak it. So once spoken in faith compels God to answer. God has no alternative rather than to answer ones that are spoken in faith. So once you speak them in faith, you, you give him no choice. He has no choice rather than to answer. He never wanted to heal the, 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 the Samaritan woman. Uh, 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 I mean the, the, the Canaanite woman's son. But he ended up healed. He, uh, he, was, he was supposed to go to Centurion house, but he did not go there. Uh, the daughter was, was what? Uh, the, 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 the servant was healed even before the master went there. So it is it, the ones of faith compels God to answer them. God must come. There is someone help. There is someone supernatural release. The ones of faith. So once you speak the word of faith, you are releasing help to your atmosphere. Can you stand up and tell God to help you? I will, I will uh, continue next and share about the other things that you need to speak your word in. And now we have covered about prayer, mixing your word in prayer. We have covered mixing your words with grace. We have covered that wisdom and truth. We have covered your uh, mixing your words with what? Love and mixing your words with what? Faith. When you do that, you become a powerful speaker. Hallelujah. Whatever you say, they come to us. Whatever you declare, they come to us. Remember, we reign by the ones. That's why ones are very important to any believer. Can you lift up your hands and tell God, let your ones carry power. Let your ones carry authority. Let your ones carry power. Let your ones carry authority. Let your ones carry power. Let your ones carry authority. Let your ones carry power. Let your ones carry ability. Ability to create things. Ability to change things. Ability. Ability to cut things to happen. Ability. Rabakata. Shakanta Raba. Shakaba Raba. Shakama Rabasha. La Pida Kata. La Mazai. Ramama Sha. La Bakata. La Bakata. La Bizata. La Mazaka. La Bazakata. La Bakasa. Ramasha Kata. La Bazakata. La Bazata. Makata Rabaza, Makata Rabaza, Shikatala, Shakata, let our ones carry power, let our ones carry power, Lapidu, Shakata, Ramakata, Ramizanda, Shakata Laba, Shakinda Labaka, La Santa Bala, Shakima Laba, Shakanta Bala, Shakima. In the name that is above other names, the name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We speak, begin to speak things over your life, over your destiny, over your environment, over your finances, over your health, over your calling, over your life. Utter things now. Utter things now. Malabakuta. 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 Labidakali. La bida kali, la bida kali baka, shabila baka, shabalaka. Speak over your health, speak over your health, speak over your health, speak over your health, speak over your health. La bakata, malasala, shakanta, la badaka, la badasai. Speak over your health, speak over your health. La santa bala, shanta bala ba, shakata. Speak over your destiny. Speak over your destiny. Speak of a destiny. Uproot every root of everything. That may spoil your destiny. Destroy everything. Everything in your foundation. That may eat uh, the plan of God for you. Araba Sala. Come on, speak it now. La Bida Kata. Shakata Raba. La Bazaka. Refuse to be what God has not ordained you to be. Refuse to carry what God has not given you to carry. Refuse to cut out pain. Refuse to cut out that sickness. Refuse to cut out stress. Kata sita badikata sakata makanta. Can you lift your hands? I reject every evil. Reject every evil plans in your life. In your life. In your family. In your ministry. La saltaba shakata ramazai shamalila shakata. Lama Zai, Shama Laba, Shama Laba, Kanta, Kanta Ralala, Kanta Raba, Kanta, reject every offer of the enemy, 
reject every offer of the enemy. Jesus rejected his offers that he may fulfill the will of God. Reject the offer. Reject the offer of the enemy. Reject the offer. Masakata. La Masaka. Masindalai. Shakita Rabba. La Masakata. Lift your faith and begin to speak to your mountains. You can tell this mountain move. If you don't doubt, it can move. Begin to speak the word of authority. Speak it to begin the word of authority. Begin to speak the word of authority over your life, over your family. Masata. We speak to our forces. We speak to our powers. We speak to rulers. We speak to the government authorities. Again, it's the will of God in our lives. We bring them down. We bring them down. We speak a contrary to our forces of darkness, but a contrary to our ministry in the city, to our ministry in this world. We bring them down. Alpha Baka, Losakata, everything that is against the preaching of the gospel in this land. We bring it down. We bring it down. La Sakata. God, we lift her. Even the Daughters of Destiny Conference that comes next week into your elbow hands. That, oh God, that shall free flow of your word. Oh, La Sata. We pray for ministers as they come. Lord, you equip them with the knowledge and the words that are needed for this place. Masata. We pray for delegates who are traveling from different parts of this nation and even outside the nations. Shakata. Those who are flying to come, God, we pray for safe flight. We pray for those who are driving, those who are using other means to be in this place. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you help them, Lord. You help them, Lord. Let them arrive. Let them arrive. We pray for our children, even as they join us for the holy days. Masata, you bless them. Those who are traveling now, those who are traveled tomorrow, Masita Bala, bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. La Bakata, Shalilala, Makata Lilila, Sila, Makanta, Shakata Raba. Let me turn around. Let me turn around in this time, Lord, in the conference, in the Daughters of Destiny conference. Do things that you have never done before. Move people that way you have never moved. We call them from north. We call them from south. We call them from east. My Father, we give power to every advert that we are released on air, on different social media platform. But God is our announcement. And this promise, my Father, shall carry power, shall carry life, a compelling voice, compelling voice, compelling voice to the people who hear and come to you, and come to your place. La Pataka, we speak, we release. La Bikata, Rabashula, Masantalaba, La Bakata, Shantalala, Shantalaba, Ramakata, La Bakata, Rabaka, Rabaka, Ramaza, Ramasha, La Baka, let the words become flesh. 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 It's by faith they become flesh. It is by faith they become flesh. It is by faith they become flesh. In the chest of grace, by mixture of grace, la satabala, and I come to pass. Let us beget the glory. Let us see the glory, Lord. The glory begotten of you. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, King. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Lord of Lords. We praise you, King of Kings. The Lord of us, we give all praise to you. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for every word released in the realm of the Spirit. Let it begin now to happen in the physical reality for the glorification of your name. Let every pain die from the body and let every spirit of darkness disappear. Let your love be released. And let your favor come and let your glory be released. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, I pray and also believe. And everyone said, Amen. Can you put your hands together? Appreciate God. I said, You appreciate God. He is a good God. You can do better than you are doing. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Amen. You may have your seats. Every one of us, thank you very much. Our online church, we love you. Thank you for being there with us from beginning to the end. I remember this week, we are preparing also to have uh, the Daughters of Destiny a conference next week. Uh, so there are so many activities going on here. Uh, be prepared. Invite your friends. Pass this uh, announcement to your friends. And let us meet here. Uh, starting from Monday and next week, the 24th, we shall be gathering here at the King's House and uh, we will be having the, our annual Daughters of Destiny Conference. It is international and interdenominational uh, conference. So you are inviting people from every denomination, people from all nations. And uh, uh, we have been gathering here nations, uh, many nations over here. And we expect this year also to be uh, to be. Uh, to be the same and already we know uh, that uh, uh, before even the conference uh, starts three nations uh, shall be represented here and uh, we, 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 we were expecting much more uh, before the, 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 the conference ends so kindly uh, share this information with your friends and uh, uh, let's, uh, let them come uh, to, uh, for the Daughters of Destiny uh, uh, annual conference uh, which is held here at the King's House, Moranga Town. God bless you. I uh, see you next week. Those who are far and uh, those who are near, I uh, see you tomorrow as we continue uh, with this uh, series of Grace Hour. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Can you appreciate our online church as we leave them?